Hello, today we're going to be talking about Newton's second law. Um, Newton's second law is pretty much the net force is the mass times the acceleration, or otherwise known as F equals MA. If you remember what we were talking about last time with acceleration, acceleration has to do with a change in velocity. So that is going to be an important concept to remember as we go through this today. Um, we're going to be talking about a little bit to do with skydiving. Um, so when you're skydiving, what forces are there? First, you can see on there is that there's the force due to gravity, which is going to be pointing downwards or pulling you towards the Earth. And then um, there is also another force, which is due to air resistance, which is going to be in opposition to gravity. However, your air resistance changes depending upon your speed. So as you start out, your speed is um, initially going to be smaller. So how do you write the net force for this? So your net force is equal to mass times acceleration. So here we have the force due to the air resistance minus the force due to gravity. Thus, your net force is equal to your air resistance minus gravity equals your mass times acceleration. So when you first fall, you, as you can see with a small arrow due to air resistance, you have a small velocity. So you have a small force due to air resistance and your force due to gravity. Um, does not change because that is always going to be constant as you're falling towards the earth. When you compare the uh, magnitudes of these or the uh, size of it, um, your magnitude due to gravity is greater than air resistance and thus your net force will be pointing downwards or you accelerate downwards. However, at a certain point the acceleration goes to zero. To find out when this happens, you set up your equation and then you set your acceleration equal to zero and thus, you find out that that is when your acceleration from air resistance equals the acceleration due to, from gravity. And thus, your force from um, air resistance and your force from gravity are both equal. At this point, your velocity does not change because, as you remember, acceleration is due to the change in velocity. And thus, you're at a terminal velocity. At this point, as you can see on here, the forces are equal and thus your net force is zero. And at this point, even though you have velocity, your acceleration is zero because your net force is zero. So remember that you can be moving with a zero acceleration. However, once you deploy the parachute, what happens? Your force due to gravity remains the same as it has been in the past two examples. However, you're, because you're falling, your uh, parachute is so big, it has a huge air resistance. And so where is your acceleration going to be? Since your acceleration from air resistance is greater than that due to gravity, your acceleration will be positive or it will point upwards. So as you can see in this image, your air resistance is greater than the force due to gravity and thus your net force is upwards. So which direction is your acceleration pointing? The direction of your net force, which is upwards. What direction is your velocity? Since you're falling, your, your velocity is pointing downwards. However, your acceleration is pointing upwards. So what does this mean since your acceleration is a change in velocity? So if your velocity and acceleration are in, in opposite directions, your velocity will decrease or you'll be slowing down. All right, that's it.